What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire and this will be an hour special. So to pick up where we left off, we've pretty much fought a whole bunch of battles against the Mughals here in India, pushing them back on every front. We've also hopped back over to the Americas and deployed a few more armies. We have one army marching up towards Cuba, then we have an army for the, to the north pushing down and hitting Cayuga. We are also one building up another force here in Quebec. So let's get another Nizam unit just before we run out of all of our money. We've got an army up here who is waiting for the inevitable declaration by the Huron. And we're building up troops here in Quebec so that we can land and we can push against the 13 colonies but it's only a matter of time. They are preventing my territories from being converted. Despite our the presence of our religious building, and it says Gaspé, Gaspé is that up here? there? I keep forgetting this. This bit of land is also Quebec. Um, but yes, what I said what I said I was going to do last time was hit and turn because we ran out of stuff to do. More armies are on their way down to India, where they will be quite valuable. More spies are also on the way. So many spies. But yeah, fundamentally, we are the superpower. New Spain is another target of ours. You're quite not going to take that sieging of mine laying down. They're falling back, which is excellent news. God, they all are, actually. Well... Except for that guy. If I take Afghanistan, it means I get visibility on all those armies running around the wandering around the Afghan desert. So that would probably be a good decision to take the territory there. Ooh, we have been pushed on ourselves. But I think I'd like these guys to be at full strength, so I'm going to withdraw. They were fine attacking the garrison or laying siege to the garrison, but it's pull back. <laughs> Okay, fighting against one army, that's fine. Let's do that. Firuz Rathor. It has delayed our push on Afghanistan uh, incrementally, but I don't think it's going to cause any problems in the grand scheme, especially when we have those four armies being recruited in um, southern Spain. Got all that. I had a, a whole bunch of armoured cavalry and thought, well, I may as well break these out into loads of different, um, loads of different armies. Okay, let's, because they're attacking us and we've not got as much field artillery as we'd like. We've got lots of good infantry, which is good, as you would imagine. There we go. Could do with my with having some something a bit more exotic than Israeli, but never mind. What we do have is copious amounts of melee infantry. My my Indian cav my Delhi cavalry is almost non-existent. You know what? I might try out. You guys all firing percussive shells. So let's watch. Are they all aiming at the... They will be, yeah. Kill a whole bunch of the General's bodyguard though, that's pretty good. But let's pick... Battlefield targets. My weaker, my lone unit of artillery can hit, can focus on the... Oh, I killed a bunch of my gunners there. You guys continue to pound their artillery. Ok, 
you know, I don't not as such a much of a fan of percussion shot because quick climb near as damn it demolishes every unit it sees. You get one hit and you've already done you know a whole bunch of damage. Yeah, they're pounding the centre of our position. Quick climb would do would definitely even the odds. I might even trundle my bashies out that way to the left. Because that's where most of their troops are massing. If they want to charge us, that's where they'll hit us. These bowmen are going to be repulsed by my infantry. gaps, easy gaps for me to go and snipe their artillery with my weak unit of cavalry as it is. Maybe you men push back this unit of bowmen. If he goes to drop quick climb on them, that would be excellent. Okay, so Bashi Musketeers are now the next unit to deal with. Well, I might have to give them some battlefield support. Because this unit, the 45th, is getting hammered by their artillery. Although it looks like this artillery is going to be pretty useless in that regard. Dervishes, levy. I need to aim, I need them to aim at proper targets. At least this flank's got melee infantry to push them back if that becomes necessary. Come on man, hose them down. Okay, right, their, their gunners are on the move. They do have cavalry behind. Move out my Janissaries. Charge in. Okay, pull back. Ah, uh, they're war elephants. No. Bashies get involved. Understandably, my men broke. Take the risk. You guys need to fire a volley off quick. Format the line. Janissaries hit the line. You men also get involved in the mess over here. General, get through the lines and try hit them in the rear. Okay, 
Okay, you guys form up and continue to attack. We've lost a unit of Bashis. Probably the ones I sent to charge the general. Okay, get my Delhi cavalry out of there. You guys help mock out that unit of Dakil. Okay, it's the levy gone. Folks fire that, you know, pikemen with two of my sets of artillery. Janissaries to hit those dervishes. My general died, but that was to be expected. You guys hit those musketeers. I don't know why you routed, because you're actually in good strength. You guys run straight through those elephants. So you men are going to position here as a blocking force. Fire it will off. Moogle artillery is wavering. So you guys... Okay. Don't worry about the dervishes then, if they're going to continue to run around and be silly buggers. You guys hit those musketeers on the flank. Okay, right. You guys need to fall back and form a coherent line. Run straight through the enemy again. My let keep my cavalry giving their pikes the runaround. There we go, they've been charged in the flank, so they're going to be upset. The Janissaries are doing okay. The Bashi's finally broke. Fundamentally, my bugged artillery is what's going to really not help. Okay, you guys fight those elephants to give the 95th time to reorganise you guys get over here, the Janissaries hit the musketeers, all of you guys hit that unit of musketeers, you guys have to try fight them. You guys fire it well on, or our cat, or our... Musketeers. Form square. All you men charge in. Our gunners really these this gun team all they did is manage to 
blow a hole in the square formation. Charge on into the bowman. guys charge the bowman keep charging the bowman you guys pivot keep to try shoot at the let's try shoot at the general my janissaries are doing a good job but not good enough you guys also need to swarm the pikemen you guys need to knock out their artillery. You guys fire round shot. Keep dropping it on. All my howitzers fire round shot and keep dropping it on the general. Swarm the horsemen, we can't allow them to live either. Excellent stuff. You men form line because you're all musketeers. You men jump onto this unit of pike onto this unit of cavalry. Two units of uh, elephants there. That's going to be what dooms me more than anything else. So run my musketeers there to fire on the infantry there. charging they're routing that's lovely news okay you guys run like this the janissaries run up the hill you guys fall back they are shattered all my artillery focus on that last unit of elephants You men expand, you men contract a bit. Hey, Isarays have come some of my Isarays have come back. What about you guys? Okay, you guys are the guys that are already here. Killed the enemy general with how it's a fire. He's gone. These musketeers are about to go. There we go. God, that was messy. <laughs> God damn. That was a messy one. Well, this sally actually worked. It was a it was a victory, but at what cost? At what cost? So lost my general and our cavalry. Good, they haven't pushed out again. Because they could definitely kill that army if they wanted to. And I mean, obviously they ran around me. Hey, we won. <laughs> uh, yeah, fighting Mosar isn't going to be isn't going to be any, any fun either. Hmm. Are they going to raid one of my ports? Are they? No, apparently not. Good stuff. Because I have a couple of ports that are upgrading, and I'm 
recruiting ships for as well, so they would be particularly frustrating. Okay, so up here, you men correctly deduced that you need to hunker down. So, Sinani Safet. Call up some Sipahi reinforcements. Actually, what are you? You're, you are my resupply force. So you can send a unit of armoured cavalry up there. The armoured cavalry goes up there. The rest of you guys. Stay where you are. And you guys pick up some cavalry. I mean, you guys pick up two of whatever you can get. So these men push forward. Close the net. Okay, so we've got you. Fragment managed to make it around the line, so just auto resolve that fight. Yeah. Back you go. You guys push up to this hill. This. Aha! There is all of their nasties. Okay, you guys, you infiltrate Lahore. You put. I mean, we tried to demand the surrender. God damn. They actually did it. Cool. Uh, water power cloth mill, water power cloth mill, Iron Master's Forge. Knock down the Iron Master's Forge, please. You guys sit on the bridge. You can push their ships out to my fleet. So let's get my ships in port. Oh, it's not even my port. I can't even do that. Uh, okay. The Madras Dockyard. You guys go into the unknown. The Madras Dockyard. You guys repair. We have another force here at Ceylon. So let's take one of our sloops. No, not that one. That one. No, just deploy them off the coast, that's okay for now. I want them to push up towards Mysore, because that's going to be... That's going to be... A, that's going to have to be a quick siege, we have to fight that, and uh, <laughs> win it as quickly as we can. Even then, that's no guarantee, because we do need to knock out... The, the uh, knock out the Mughals here, so we got a straight run towards Goa. Fort Front Frontenac. Okay, let's put a craft workshop. So you guys have finally got your howitzers. You're still replenishing. Fleet arrives! Hurrah! Uh, where's the best place to land you? Maybe towards Satara. It's a lot of cavalry and I've got light infantry so it might not necessarily be the best army to siege the city. Let's do it for now. I do want to lure these guys in to a bridge battle here. You guys might actually be better off attacking the former garrison just so you can get rid of them. It cost a few men. Nagpur is exposed as well. The Marathas are actually not. The Mughals aren't actually doing a great job at securing their cities. 
So you can march here and hit Saeed Pani. Because you might be able to push up towards Lahore or, well, we might even surround and cut off Afghanistan. We've got so many armies here that we are very much uh, overwhelming what they can... They're overwhelming their front lines. Especially if they continue to cluster units together. I can surround... I can surround them and cut them off. So... We're going to lob shells from the rear. Surround and engulf them, or attempt to surround and engulf them. We don't actually have a huge amount of infantry to do that. Put my skirmishes all on the right. Spread out my line, my melee infantry. There we go. Is it better to group up them and my Janissary Guards separately? So that might be a bit far. There we go. Then my Janissaries, they're getting shot at, or they're, or they're dying at least. Eh, quick claim how it's just focus on the, the men at the front. Cavalry deploy up quickly, because we've got a unit of Lancers to hit. You can take a pot shot, take some pot shots at my Nizam. Deploy the Sepahi first. You men don't fire. Light infantry don't fire. Camels hit the Zemindari horsemen. broke the cavalry quick enough. Throw our Janissaries in because the Islamic Swordsmen are in. Run our riflemen around the combat. Run a Janissary around to help them out. Gen General, I want to be ready to chase down this Royal Infantry Guard. Let's get my field artillery to keep engaging the German's bodyguard. You chase them down, pivot my infantry. The Janissaries leave the combat and get out of the way. The Janissaries, you get involved. Camel Nomads. Get out of the fight. The Janissaries can come in to stab them in the back. My light infantry still hasn't had a chance to its feet wet. There's a unit of Kizilbashi over there. They are going to interfere with my battle plan somewhat.
to deploy the cavalry to hit whomever they like. Get my janissaries to hit the routing bowmen. You guys can't round shot them. Then. Whoa! Get out of the way, General. This isn't General Wars. Okay, so they've. Let's see. Complete collapse. Which you couldn't really blame them for. Yeah, you guys fire at will. You can pick off some Islamic swordsmen for fun. Trying to escape the battlefield, but I don't really care about that. Get my cavalry back over here as well. Artillery is desperately trying to knock out their cavalry. My Sipahi are going to get back over here. They don't want them to miss. Well, I, I don't. I don't want them to miss a what's going on, but b the chance to kill a whole bunch of enemy dudes. I need my cavalry over here. To draw these Kizilbashi musketeers into the fight. So you guys can pivot like so. There we go. The General's bodyguard's going over to the one unit of theirs that still remains. And that is the 38th Dakili. Okay, now you can try and mode on that unit of musketeers. You can continue to try and kill them. You lads are ready. The general's bodyguard is getting pounded by artillery. Ooh, I can quickline that unit as well. Handy, really. We've managed to kite them away from their defensive position. To somewhere where we can actually make use of them. Cavalry that they were hoping to get the jump on is waiting for them. So blowing some holes in their lines. That's pretty effective. never normally use cavalry formations because it normally takes it's the time it takes them to get into position that usually you don't have but let's just set these guys up into diamond formation yeah shouldn't you guys shouldn't stick around for too much longer stop our artillery stop you guys from firing anything diamond formation might slow down killing them while they're routing and my camels have finished killing their guys it won't be long so I think uh, that's the only that is the only unit left on the field they're going to route It's 
spread out, knock them out. It's that front front unit that's going to make them safe. There they go. So that's another small army that we've managed to chase in the right direction. Keep the lines. The Actually, they've run straight into the fort that we've just unoccupied. Okay, try siege them in that inside that very fort. You guys want to go over here for the name of pushing these guys east, take a diaper and push on to Eugene because we've now got quite a good little defensive line set up. We started doing some of this, but did I finish it? The answer is no. Steam engine, new port. Army Staff College in London. Not entirely necessary, but... It isn't entirely necessary, but it does allow us to keep... Um, if we need to recruit a London, an army in London, for whatever reason, then we can do so and not be held back. Okay... Longer than that. Let's upgrade the weaver's cottage to a cloth mill here. I mean, there are definitely some I've missed. Newfoundland has got upgrades across the board. Good old Newfoundland. It takes an Ottoman to come in and tell you how you want to run your land. Uh, there we go. that will be another army ready to push onto the Protestant heathens to our south. I mean, they're going to... I could either attack them or they could attack me. And usually it's better to just let them attack you. We organise the fleets. Yeah. Ghazi Hussein, we lost our brave general workers on strike. That will slowly keep getting better, and religious unrest will start to turn into religious happiness. Trade gained. Region captured Hyderabad. Trade gained, trade gained, trade gained. Trade gained. Successful mission. Okay, let's not build. It's tempting to build something there, but let's not. You're recruiting artillery from probably to trundle all the way up to the north. Seems like a recipe for disaster, but I'm going to... I'll allow it. Good. Pop over to the Americas. So I think now you guys can leave, yes. Because they should be one turn happier. We've also got more Semini. Yes! Don't recruit any more. You guys get into Guadeloupe. Too bad we have to deploy them both together like this. Sail on to the Bahamas. Soon the end of the pirates is near. So you men push up. Richard Speardike. No. Just because that's... In terms of the, the types of fights we have to fight uh, in this campaign, that's not... Yeah. A, a small number of pirates isn't something to worry about. Isn't something that I should really do. Then I think we'll be ready to land in Florida or New Orleans soon. To be honest, who are the Huron friendly with? Meh. 
I mean, how odd is this in a campaign to be so late in the game that all we've got... Minor nations are a bun mostly a bunch of Native American factions, and the major nations are us, the Mughals, and the 13 colonies. Don't worry, 13 colonies, your time will come. Okay, back to India. I don't think there's anything to do, because I want to lure them in, if possible. You need fighting, but there's not really a lot I can do until I knock out Mysore. The main focus has to be on clearing through this part of the front line, I think. Let's hit in turn. Let all our other stuff move up. I mean, that second army might really... That, that army that just marched under Bazaar might really open the gates. As my spies continue their path onwards. Yep, yeah, you've punted out that Mughal force to our navy. Oh, I need to rebuild that uh, the town in Konya as well. New Spain is fleeing. Come on, Iroquois. Iroquois. Let's knock your... Let's knock down your capital and replace it with a proper Islamic one. And then soon the end of the the end of the uh, Iroquois will be nigh. And then we'll be in a good position to push against the uh, the Cherokee. So Again, we know how the Cherokee fight. That's a really bad artillery position, so let's probably not deploy any more artillery down there. Deploy. Okay. So I want... Ooh. Some Albanian skirmishes on that flank. Keep my cavalry together. Because it will definitely be needed. My howitzers... Ready to unload as much quick climb as they've got. The edge of the map. Okay, cavalry, let's I didn't even deploy all my guys. Get you guys to fall back. Because we are doing a little bit of a pivot. Albanian warbands take position up on the hill, Janissary out on the flank. I mean this they are they are sallying, so So the general is this Garrison native bowman. Arm tribesman, arm tribesman. Ooh. Is it worth you guys firing shrapnel? I don't really want to hit garrison native warriors with my cavalry, eh? Because it's a bit weak and also because those units aren't actually that terrible in combat. 
Okay, they're starting to get within quick climb range. Mostly I want to try and find the bowmen. The bowmen will be sat somewhere in a giant pocket together. Run straight through. Don't worry. Okay, we found them all. We've stirred up a bit of a hornet's nest to do it. And they are very keen to attack my cavalry. So let's just... Get him back to safety. Yes, the powers of modern artillery. Now you can blast them with shrapnel shot. There, quick. So I'm going to run these guys along my lines a bit, just to try and draw them, draw the enemy a bit further inwards. But I do need just to run, because soon you men are going to be firing at will, or turn off fire at will. Until my cavalry is safely behind my line, now fire at will. I hate when they do this. When they get caught, a line, a line of my guys just stand still, just to like, oh, they've started to attack us then. Come on, my Albanian warband. This is your sort of terrain. Deploy the cavalry. Deploy the shrapnel. Armed cavalry chase them down. Good. Good. See, it's a whole different ball game when you're fighting them now with uh, all this artillery. It's rather beautiful. Because you don't even... You sit there and go, oh, if you want to hang around and fire bow shots at me, that's your prerogative. Because my artillery can then just destroy you. Oh, good god. native bowmen skirting along the front of the line. So what are you guys going to do now? All my guns are reloading. And they've got something to show you. There, oh, channel shot is so... devastating. Just make it to our line. 
Yeah, there they go. <laughs> yes. Don't, don't even need to chase them down because it's a garrison battle. Like a garrison sally on their last turn. What's that coming out of the hill? Yeah, there we go. Hey! Musket man! Look at these cheeky little scallywags! as good as my Albanians. They might be sat there feeling pretty confident now, but my quick climbing parent says they're uh, reloading and pivoting. Oh, no shells in the air, sadly. And they have fallen. Poor, poor Native American factions. Plenty more where this came from, though. Yes. Uh oh. So we very much have to uh, match the movement of those armies with our own. They've punted my navy out. Not that that's going to do them much good. Okay, so it might be safe to push towards Katak. And I might want to reinforce Hyderabad with an army. Ah, oh, don't break my religious building, you scoundrels. Ooh. Um, do I want to fight this? Yeah, I do. But looking at the timer because I'm kind of close to the edge of the hour. I don't want to run over too much. I've got I've got things I need to get do, get done today. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Sorry, this is slightly shorter than an hour. Um, but in the next episode, we will defeat um, these Mughal troops near Satara, and we are actually going to be a bit surrounded. So that should be interesting. Radio. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.